Hey everybody, Tony Bear is here, and I'm at the Motor City Comic Con 2012. I'm here with Lupe, the Mexici, and we're going to show you everything that they have at the Motor City Comic Con. Okay, hi everybody, Toy Bear is here, and I'm, a, I'm with the Great Lakes Horror Asso Writers Association. Did I get that right? Close enough? It's close enough. And I'm here to ask them, what, what are you guys doing here today? No <laughs> <laughs> uh, What, we're here, we're here promoting our organization, the Great Lakes Association of Horror Writers. <laughs> we are a collection of writers and illustrators and photographers. Mm -hmm. We do short stories for our anthologies and members individually do their own short story and novels. We just want to get out there and promote reading to all the people in the world. Okay, um, do you, this is Montley by the way, I forgot to introduce her. Um, do you have any specific book that you want to promote? Today? Yes, today. Yes, you know what, I would like to um, our latest anthology is uh, great. It's uh, Eerie Tales, Tales of the Apocalypse, and Resurrection Mary. It's our latest member anthology. Do your Vanna White. Do your Vanna White. Do your And it's a collection of Tales of the Apocalypse and um, uh, Resurrection Mary, the uh, Cemetery Hitchhiker. And who's all in the book? Who's all the writers? Uh, we are all three. And I never know how to pronounce his last name, so I'm not going to butcher it here. It starts with an N. Um, oh. I think, is it the four of us that are in that? Uh, and John. John. Okay. We have another member in there. So there's four or five of us in that one. So. Okay. Now, what, what inspires you all to write? You know, what, when, you, when you think of, okay, I'm going to write this horror story, what comes to your mind? Yeah. It really depends on the day. Either you're either having a really bad day or you just see something kind of funny and it just strikes you. And I started a story because I heard a kid talking to his grandmother at a diner and he's like, remember when dad was beating on me this morning? And I'm like, wait, what? So, I, I mean, that just kind of started at like a torture family story. But it's just something that happens kind of random. I don't usually sit down and think, okay, what do I want to write today? Unless it's something that's due in two weeks. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> then I think about it. But, yeah. And... Okay, I introduce Molly, and this is Peggy. I'm Peggy, yes. <laughs> and we have a newbie over here today. I'm Karen. And this is, Karen. and what, do you have a, is this your first book you wrote? I have um, three I'm actually written so far. My Chronicles of Roar series. I'm and, over there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this is my first this year with Blog. And <laughs> this is our book. Thank you so much. <laughs> And so, and you, sir, uh, what's Michael. Your, Michael, mm -hmm. what have you done for these? What um, have you done for I me mean, lately? Yes, sir. <laughs> I've done the Vanna. <laughs> yeah. Grab DOA, because that's got uh, another member who's here, but not at the table at the moment, is the editor of this fine anthology. Um, that's my most recent publication. I'm in all of the anthologies. Um, like to mention the moms? Oh, yeah, that would be a good idea. We're also trying to raise awareness for, um, we have a couple of uh, literacy organizations, the Detro uh, Siena Literacy Organization and the Dominican uh, or a Literacy Organization. So they have tutoring uh, centers across Detroit, I think as far as Flint. So they try to, particularly for the adults who have gone so long in life without being able to read, you know, uh, without, you know, the judgment and all of that. Well, they are none, so it, it shouldn't be any judgment there. Um, but yeah, we're trying to raise awareness for them, and we have a Halloween party every year, so we raise money for them. Yeah. Okay, you guys, or who's gonna, whose book is going to come out next? Who's anybody? My third uh, one's coming out in a couple of weeks. Yes. No. Yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the title? Chronicles of Roar: Necessary Lies. It's the third in my series. Oh, okay. And what are they about? Uh, it's a science fiction story. It's about people going to another world and then trying to work their way back here. 
The other world that involves cannibals, which is what I'm dressed up as, a green-haired cannibal with veins sticking out of my face, uh, sorcerers, and then hunters. Okay. And uh, you're all dressed up. Is there any specific reason for dressing up? Or, uh, dress up? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I always wear these shoes. <laughs> this is how I go pay my bills. What are you talking about? <laughs> But writing is just a hobby. Right, yeah. right, exactly. You don't make any money writing. <laughs> I think I've made $20. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, we will be dressing up tomorrow and Sunday. We do have theme days for okay. the rest of the weekend. We'll do anime tomorrow and we'll do um, Firefly on Sunday. Firefly, the TV mm -hmm. series. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the Joss Whedon TV series, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, is that because you're big fans? Of, you're all big fans of Joss Whedon. Well, we are. I, well, Joss Whedon in general is completely brilliant. So anything he touches is whether or not it does well or not. I, I don't care. He's a fantastic he, writer. He is. Uh, so I assume you all seen Avengers. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We've just all lost our cred. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and well, we want to see it. Buffy, your fans of Buffy, mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Okay. And, uh, well, I guess that's it, unless you guys want to say anything. Oh, uh, what's your website? Oh, it's just um, greatlakeshorror.com. Okay. Okay. That was from these great writers at Great Lakes Horror. I'll see you all for the next interview. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>